Need to know how to cut out images to make a collage? Hi, this is Chelsea from Digital Art Teacher. And for our digital collage today, we'll be creating the Photoshop file and learning two different techniques for making exact cutouts. To start out, create a rectangular file that is 2400 pixels wide by 1600 pixels tall. Then you're going to drag and drop your images inside. You can do this with all of your images at one time, or you can just do a few at a time. As they come in, you'll have to press enter to get them to set. And if your images come in looking kind of small, that probably means that you will want to look for a new image because this one might end up being a little pixelated if you need to resize it. Of course, if you just want this image to be this size, like in the corner or something, then it should work fine. But if, for example, you need it to be really big, then it might end up looking a little pixelated. Now for the tedious part, cutting out the images. For a traditional collage, we'd get out our scissors and just start cutting. But for a digital collage, it's not quite that simple. I should note that today's tutorial will be done with Adobe CC 2022. So if you're using something CS6 or earlier, I do have a video tutorial that I created in CS6 and it will be linked in the description. Now let's dive into cutting out those images for your collage. You can use the exact same techniques seen in my previous videos about cutting out backgrounds of an image, but with the new version, there are a couple of shortcuts that may be able to speed up your process. So choose the image that you wanna start with, and then we'll get started. Go to the quick selection tool, select subject within the option bar at the top of your window, and then this will automatically cut out your image. If select subject doesn't seem to be an option for you, it probably means that you're on a hidden layer, which is true for me. So I'm going to select my brush layer and then I can select subject. Now this does a pretty good job. You'll notice that there are some spots that got missed, like right here and down here. So if your computer has enough RAM to support it, you can try using the cloud, which means it just tries to collect more details. Now this can be a good thing and it could be a little off. So you could go back and forth between the two options. See how it did collect this right here and it collected this, but for some reason it missed the tip of this brush but I think it did a pretty good job overall. So we're gonna move on to the next step. Now what you're gonna do is go to the bottom of your layers panel and select add layer mask. If there's anything that you feel needs to be corrected, just select the brush and I'm going to make it so I can't see any of the other layers, that way I don't get confused. Now, if there's anything that I feel needs to be corrected, then I can select the brush tool and paint black to remove unwanted parts and add white to add parts to the selection. So here's the brush, or you can use B, and here's your black and white. If you want to quickly go from black to white, then press X. So we do need to add this up here. And if you'll notice, my brush is using what's called a hard edge. So what we will wanna do is to make it a little bit more soft, that way the bristles don't seem to be quite so rigid. And you'll wanna do that with hair as well. So if I right click, I get this pop up and I can control the hardness of the brush. I don't wanna make it extremely soft because then when I click, it will be difficult for me to get the edges that I need. So I'll put it somewhere in the middle and see if that works for me. There we go. 
And again, I can switch back to white pretty easily. And if I want my brush to be bigger or smaller quickly, I can use the brackets on my keyboard. Like so. And that works pretty well for the paintbrush. Now let's say that your image does not have a very clear background. For example, this squirrel here. I mean, he's got some hard edges, but his coloring is very similar to the background. So when I try to get my quick selection tool, get on the correct layer and select the subject, it might do a pretty good job for some of it, but for other parts, it will kind of miss out on what I actually want. And of course, I can switch to cloud and try that. But it's still going to either miss some parts or add some parts that I will need to fix. So you can always start out with this option. And then we have this quick selection tool that you can try using. In order to add parts to the selection, I will just click with my mouse. If I want to subtract parts, then I'm going to hold down Option or Alt and my brush gets a minus sign in it. And I can click in places where I would like to subtract the selection. And since these two colors are so similar, it's going to be difficult for the quick selection tool to get exactly what I want. So I can fix these things when I go in with my layer mask. And it may be that I actually want to add this whole rock here. So I can use my quick selection tool to add and subtract the parts that I want to add and subtract. Remember to zoom in as you need to, to make it easier for you to see what you're doing. And if you have a steady hand, you can always use the lasso tool to help you with this too. It's gonna be very similar to the quick selection tool, but in this case, if you wanna add a part, you're going to hold down shift and you'll get the plus sign. And if you want to subtract a part, you're going to hold down option or alt. So for example, I can just circle the sections that I feel need to be removed while I'm holding down Option or Alt. And if I need to add a part, then I can hold down Shift. Once you feel like you have a pretty good selection, you can go to Select and Mask. From here, it's going to make it lighter where your selection is not. It's going to make the background less prominent by making it a little bit lighter. You can control this right here with your transparency if you need to see it more or less. Now we're going to do a few settings over here in the properties panel. Go ahead and check smart radius and make the radius between one and two. You're going to make the smoothness go up between five and 10. And add the feather to between one and two. This is just gonna make the edge a little bit softer around my squirrel. Come over to this side and make sure you have the refine edge brush selected and Anywhere that you had to do a lot of work, you might go around it with this brush and it's just gonna make it softer. If you do this too much, you could take out some details that you didn't mean to, but all of this can be fixed later. Like if you notice there, I took out a bit much and now we've lost some of his nose. So I can undo it or I can fix it later with my mask. 
Once you're happy with your results, you can go to OK and then to your layer mask. And again, I can come back in here with my brush tool and I can add and subtract as I need to. So try a couple of cutouts with one or both of these methods and then you can move on to the next video to get some more ideas on how you can cut out images for your collage. I'll see you there.